All right, what's up, everybody? So today's going to be a bit different. So as many of you know who are probably in the midst of taking hardcore MCAT study sessions, the MCAT doesn't always ask straightforward questions. Most of the questions come from a passage. So today I kind of tried to emulate that by giving you a, a much longer question, but also because this question is entirely based on a paper I just read. So it is, it is very much relevant to science. So with that, let's get started. It says, one of the biggest innovations in cancer biology today is the development of antibody drug conjugates. These drugs involve an antibody that is linked to a highly potent drug. The antibody is made to target a protein found only on the surface of the cancer cell. Upon binding to the protein, the antibody drug conjugate is taken into the cell and the binding between the drug and the antibody is broken. The drug then works to kill the cell. Based on this information, what part of the cell do you think the drug is targeting? So this is an amazing question because it's a good example of an evidence based question. Well, what do I mean by evidence based? It means that you have to read everything that's given to you. And on the MCAT, you're given a big passage and then you have to answer a question. Similarly here, I tried to replicate that a bit. So in this case, you have to understand the passage, right? And once you understand the passage, you have to apply your knowledge um, about antibody drug conjugates in this case to the cell, okay? And it shows how the co a question may be um, simple because believe it or not this is a simple question but a lot of students will get intimidated by this because it's so long and it's applying uh, it's implying to such a con uh, convoluted concept right so but the question itself may be simple because look at our answer choices these are literally parts of the cell right so the question itself might be simple but the fact that you have to read the passage is what scares people off but then let me just go ahead and show you how you would do this. So first of all, you want to visualize what the question is saying. So the question is talking about antibody drug conjugates. And, you know, here's the general structure of what I'm going to abbreviate as an antibody. I think they are abbreviated ADC. So anti antibody drug conjugate. So here's the antibody and here's the drug and they're linked together by a linker. And so here's what's actually happening. This question, when I read from the top about what's happening in the cell, um, is basically represented here. So this is the antibody drug conjugate and it's taken into the cell by binding to a protein that's specifically on the cell membrane. Upon being taken into the cell, notice how the, the drug is separated from the antibody, right? The antibody and the drug are separated and then once the drug is separated from the antibody, it becomes active and then it kills the cell, right? And remember, this is a cancer cell because um, because we talked about how this antibody only binds to proteins on cancer cells. So this is kind of a visual representation. So on the MCAT, you really want to get into the gist of trying to visualize what's happening here. Because everything up here is words, but seeing what's happening in a real-time picture can really help. So try to do that. So assuming we understand how this works, uh, and we understand this process, the question is actually asking us, when this drug becomes active, it when this drug... When this drug right here becomes active, it causes the cell to die. And the question is saying, what do you think is causing it to kill the cell? Like, what exactly is this drug doing such that the cell is dying? What part, as the question says, what part of the cell do you think the drug is targeting? Okay, and so if we wanted to know what part the drug is targeting, we need to really understand what does it mean to kill a cell? When we kill a cell, a cell dies. But what does it mean that it dies? Well, the biggest thing that killing a cell means is that you prevent cell division, right? Because if you kill a cell, that means one cell cannot make two cells. Like it doesn't go on. The cell ends up just dying instead. And uh, that process is obviously known as uh, cell death is known as apoptosis, but that's self cell death. But this is more of like the cell actually just dying on its own. So ultimately, the question is asking us, the cell dies, which means it's preventing cell division. So the question is actually saying, what organelle is most involved in cell division? Because the organelle that is most involved in cell division is the one that we're going to want to inhibit because we want the cell to not divide and we want to instead make sure the cell dies. And so with that, let's go through this list. And I'm going to skip the first one because cytoskeleton can be very misconstrued, but let, let's go to rough ER. Rough ER is involved in protein synthesis, right? Um... What else is the rough ER involved in? It's involved in a lot of other things, but the biggest thing is actually involving in protein synthesis for proteins that will leave the cell, right? So proteins that will leave the cell, 
uh, are often translated in the rough ER or into the rough ER. So that's a big deal for the rough ER. So if you inhibit the rough ER, all you'll be doing is you'll be inhibiting protein synthesis. So if you had a drug inhibiting the rough ER, you would inhibit this process. But would that be enough to kill the cell? You might think so, but we'll see. We'll see if that actually is enough to kill the cell. We may, or, we may or may not be right. Second, what about Golgi? What does the Golgi do? Golgi is responsible for packaging proteins, right? Um, it gets this. It, so notice how I'm just giving you two-letter or two-word summaries of what these organelles do. Because on test day, you want to be able to do the same thing. You want to have a two-letter abbreviation. Um, of what the organelle does. So Golgi is responsible for packaging proteins, then the proteins will leave the cell. So the e rough ER makes the proteins, but the packaging is done by um, the Golgi, right? Similarly, what about the smooth ER? Smooth ER, the way I like to think about it is uh, it does lipid biosynthesis, and then it detoxifies the cell, right? Detox so those are the way I like to summarize the three organelles. So if we inhibit any of these three organelles, the way I'm going to write inhibiting is this, this is the way we show inhibiting. This T on its side is inhibiting. If you inhibit any of these three organelles, you may cause the cell harm and you will likely cause the cell harm, but I don't know if it's enough to kill the cell. Would it kill the cell? I don't know. Because the cell might still be able to divide. If it can't make as many proteins, it might still be able to divide. If it can't package the proteins as well, it might still be able to divide. But on the other hand, what I want to bring out is the cytoskeleton. What does the cytoskeleton include? The cytoskeleton includes microtubules, right? It includes microfilaments, which I'm improving MF, and it includes intermediate filaments. Okay, and I'm not going to go into any of these too much in depth, but I do want you to know that microtubules are involved in mitosis, right? They're involved in mitosis. If you guys remember when you have those chromosomes lined up on the metaphase plate and you have the microtubules going out to get them, this, these are microtubules, right? They're involved in mitosis. And so in you, if you inhibit microtubules, which are part of the skydoselatin, what you'd end up doing is you'd inhibit synthesis or inhibit mitosis, right? And if you inhibit mitosis, believe it or not, the cell can't divide. And what would the cell do if it can't divide? It would eventually die because there's no way for it to live on, right? There's no way for it to make more of itself. So the best answer here, believe it or not, the best answer, and this is true, is cytoskeleton. Because these antibody drug conjugates that I showed you, um, that, you know, the drug here, this is the drug. These drugs tend to inhibit microtubules, and I have the paper on this. Uh, so there's no way you can really argue against me because there is a paper that talks about it. And these drugs inhibit microtubules, and because they inhibit microtubules, the cells can't undergo mitosis. Um, that's my sign of inhibiting mitosis, and if the cell can't undergo mitosis, cell dies. So that's my question here. And notice how it comes from a very, very fundamental paper I read, and then it relates it to something so simple, because all of you knew cytoskeleton includes microtubules, and all of you knew microtubules were involved in mitosis, but you had to connect the dots. You know, these later answer choices may be tempting, but they're not directly involved in cell division, and because they're not directly involved in cell division, they're not nearly as good of an answer as A. And so with that, the answer is A. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, like, uh, and let me know if you have any questions on this. I would love to hear your thoughts. And also read the paper. I'm going to link the paper in the description. Reading papers is also a great way to learn. All right. See you guys in the next video.